what's up good people this is the control deep well air volume regulator and it's leaking we are going to replace it so the step one before i start working on it i'm gonna disconnect my breaker step two i'm gonna cut off all the water going towards the house put on that hose there is a valve and drain all the water out until the bottom of that gauge this is the new part here i'm gonna break my gauge loose first before i unscrew it from the tank that way it's easy for me to remove it. I'm gonna reuse that gauge. Use a pipe wrench, take it out. So what I'm doing now is in installing some tread sealer and I also installed some, a little bit of a uh, Teflon. So uh, I will reinstall the gauge on the part before I screw it all the way back in. Because sometimes if you don't install it and you try to do it after, it's gonna hit the tank. But you wanna also make sure your hole is drilled all the way through in there. That way you can read. That way your gauge reads the PSI, the pressure on the inside of the tank. I also use a backup wrench, tighten it, and then we're gonna reinstall it back on the tank. Clean the treads, make sure your treads are good before you reinstall it. They don't give you a guide when you buy a house on how to do these stuff. So you have to do your due diligence, do your research, and try to learn how to do, have some tools that's going to be important to to get some of the job completed or you can just pay somebody to do it if you can't do it yourself okay so right now the tank is refilling i just cut the breaker on you hear the air is bleeding out until it reaches pressure in that gauge then it's going to cut off right now normally it's half of the tank is water and half of the tank is the air so the air compresses the water to push the water towards your house reopen my valve back to the house hopefully this video is helpful check for leaks no leak so if you find this video is helpful don't forget to show some love like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video peace